Hello, I, Dr. Vijay Chandra Jadala, welcomes you to VC Tech Education. Today's topic is regarding global certification in Internet of Things. A free global certification of Internet of Things we are going to discuss how to apply, where to apply, how to write the exam and what are the frequently asked questions in this particular exam and how this exam is uh, divided and uh, all these type of discussions will be done at this particular session. First, this exam is a globally accepted certification which is provided as part of Internet of Things certification programs. This certification is very valuable. So, this opportunity I hope all the audience of my VC Tech Education will use this particular opportunity to get this free certification. You have to spend around 1 hour to 2 hours on this particular subject. There will be some video lectures and quiz and again there will be some video lectures and there will be again quiz. That means after some video lectures, you have to attempt a quiz of around 13 questions and after these 13 questions, they again you have to attempt some video lectures and after the completing the video lectures, again 12 questions you have to attempt. After completing this, you will get the certification. And these video lectures are around 50 hours, but don't afraid to spend 50 hours of time. If you have an idea regarding IOT then you can start the video and go to end and then stop the video and tick it as viewed. Like that you can complete all the videos and you can directly attempt the question paper or the quiz. So here now we are going to discuss regarding the quiz session. The first question is regarding the communication protocols which are expected to be domain dominate the IOT deployment. So the communication protocols which are here the given are Bluetooth, Zigbee, cellular that is 3G, 4G, LTE, 5G and finally cellular and LP WAN. The answer is cellular and LP WAN. Uh, wireless wide area network uh, is the actual network which will use as a communication protocol that are expected to dominate IOT deployment in the particular years to come that means in future. Then comes to private IP address which of the following is IP private IP address the actually you know the networks class A class B class A I think so the private IP address will starts with 192 Okay, 192.168.222. Whatever, so it may be. Here, the series with 192 is the last option that is 192.168.24.43. Next question is regarding the what are the layers in what are the layers that are uh, used in TCP IP stack equivalent to the transport layer in OSI model open system interconnect uh, model which is having the seven layers among that we are discussing regarding the transport layer. The transport layer is equal to the host to host in the TCP uh, layer. This is the basic question from the networks. Then comes to the Bluetooth support. What, what will support the Bluetooth? So uh, Bluetooth supports the both point to point connection and uh, point to multi point connections so among the question the correct answer is point to point connections as well as point to multi point connection then comes to what is internet in internet is nothing but network of networks then what do you mean by internet of things internet of things is network of physical objects embedded with electronics software sensors and connectivity sensors plays a major role here sensors actuators transducers will play a major role and even embedded systems will also 
will play a major role very large scale integrated circuits vlsi and all these comes under with the help of network only all these will work so these all will in combination we can say it as internet of things next question comes to what is the most common current deployment of internet of things technologies that means home automation appliances um, smart metering sensor networks connected cars so the answer is the smart metering next um, the question will be little confusing home automation devices also we can think it as a correct answer but uh, most commonly they are used so um, smart metering so the electricity will be calculated the current deployment will be calculate current of iot deployments will be uh, based on the smart metering next comes to the bluetooth uses bluetooth uses the frequency as as hopping speed spectrum next comes to the gathering of the data from multiple devices is called as a data harvesting it is not data analysis since we are in data analysis we will only analyze we won't gather the data then data storage we will store it we won't gather it none of the above not that the answer is the data harvesting next comes to the number of uh, devices connected to the iot to connect automatically is that is the answer is machine to machine communication next comes to the bluetooth bluetooth is the wireless technology for personal area network within two systems or within two uh, mobile and well as for the speakers or uh, system to mobile like that we can connect that is only for the personal area network next comes to which of the following services uses tcp http service hypertext transfer protocol smb smtp service small mail transfer protocol then ftp file transfer protocol all the above is the correct answer next comes to zigbee extended addressing is 128 bits this is all about the quiz 1 so 12 questions are there in the quiz 1 and after completing some more videos you will get the quiz 2 so frequently asked in quiz 2 also we are going to discuss question 1 is boot loader consists of three components the number of components is asked the boot loader will consist of three components then the process of identifying any individual is known as the authentication so authentication authorization editing accounting among all this authentication is the correct answer next third question is where you falsely falsely direct the hackers or attackers to different um, nodes then hitting the original services so this type of question is belongs to the honey pot next fourth question in the security parallels the fundamental three pillars of the security or cia security is based on the cia uh, methodology that is the confidentiality integrity and availability next comes to the fifth question that is dash gives an exact up to the second state of all devices on the network that is presence direction what is the present direction based on it you will get the exact position next comes to the sixth question which of the following is not the component of uh, iot endpoint that is the gateway is not the component of iot endpoint next which of the following is not a correct way to secure communication layer which is not the correct way is the cloud initiated communication next comes to what is the first line of defense when setting up a network physical secure a network layers among the layers the physical layers is the first line of the defense or first line of the position position at the first line is the physical layer then comes to the the issue of iot devices or that they are networked and data is very open and can be manipulated because 
what is the reason of the data device iot devices that are networked and data communication manipulation is possible work of how low communications and how low intensity of the data this is a correct answer regarding it next comes to what are the major privacy and security issues of internet of things so they are going for the privacy and security related so privacy compromise leading of exfiltration of identifying of other sensitive information so regarding the sensitive information it will be identified next what kind of electronic documentation contains a public key the electronic documentation that contains a public key is the digital certificate next comes to dash is a protocol used dash is a protocol used to uh, exhibit establish a strongly secure network based communication as it strongly authenticate for a client as well as for the server for the client as well as server it is known as the https hypertext transfer protocol next comes to in cryptography what is cryper cryper is an algorithm for performing the encryption and decryption so these are the different uh, questions which you will find in this particular exam at set a and set b so hope you all understood the major concept that are the frequently asked questions in this particular session so uh, next step we are going to discuss how to apply for this global certification and uh, how to write the exam freely totally it's free hope uh, all of you will attempt it and you will use uh, this uh, discussion of the question uh, frequently asked questions and you will secure the highest score and you will get a certification just start let's start to uh, go let's let me start a step by step procedure how to apply for a global certification okay friends now this is the site where you are going to apply for the iot foundation certificate that means foundation of iot is the course name which you are going to write and uh, by signing up you will get the certification program let's see here sign up is there so the ip address which you need to click i am going to give in the description also that is https future skills prime dot in slash courses slash fundamental iot this is designed by the electronics and information technology department ministry of electrical electronics and uh, information technology that is by the indian government supported by nascam it is also with the future skills prime this is totally a free certification course where the title of it is foundation of iot the course provider is the jigsaw academy j i g s a w academy and highlights of this course is this course provides an over view of the basics of the four layers of internet of things starting from the iot devices things and iot gateway cloud platforms and other data generations and analytics so what you will learn in this course is about the layers deployment models network topologies connections and internet of things role of uh, analytics of iot then iot data and reference and architecture and all these things you are going to learn so directly you can apply for it the course duration is 50 hours but don't afraid of it you can complete it in 1 hour or 2 hours skill type is emerging technologies cost is free pathway courses is it's a course and uh, type of format is selfless that means whenever you want you can review the videos 
and industry is IOT. Then course category is industry of government approved curriculum. What you what you will get? You will get a badge. You will get a certificate. You will get a assessment by the that means transcript by the NASCAM. Okay. If you click here, it will ask to sign up. Since let's check. Okay, login, username, and password. As we didn't have the as we didn't have the username and password. You can sign it up. Okay, give your first name, last name, email ID, and password. So first name, what I am giving is VC Tech. Write your name, first name, education, and email. My email address I will give at the rate gmail dot com. And password also I will give my password. And then create an account. Click on create an account. Once you create an account, you can sign in. This is a all about the steps involved in sign up procedure. Once you log in into the future skills, you will get this particular screen where different subjects. Or which are different courses and other things will be given here. Start here, follow best deals for you, technology of the month. We don't need all these things. What we need is the subject which we are in search. That is regarding the future skill subject. NASCAM presents IOT Prime course. Okay, so here now I can say now apply now. Okay, since already now you can see the screen. Which is displayed there. So in this particular screen, Jaxo Academy. This I am clicking. Here, click here. Assign to me. So the course should be assigned. Click here. So the assignment time is 90 days. In 90 days, you have to complete this particular course, but it won't take 90 days. Okay. Add the start date. Today I am adding the start date. Okay. Then due date will be after 90 days. So November, December, January. Okay, before 90 days, I can give second, then accept. So the time period is given. Okay, you will get this uh, 51 hours course. You can see on screen the 51 hours. You can go to the particular video. And you can even download the material, download material, and you can read it and go to next topic. And videos, transcript, assignments, You can see uh, these are the videos which completed earlier. Assignments. Here you will get two different assignments. Quiz 1, Quiz 2. Quiz 1 I am opening. 
if you see the quiz same questions will be there which i kept this is my answer sheet and this is the procedure to enter into the system and uh, complete your exam all the best hope you all understood the procedure a step by step procedure how to apply for the uh, global certification and how to uh, write the exam how to view the quizzes download the material 51 different videos will be there you have to watch them total course time is 51 but you can directly click on the mark mark as complete and you can complete the particular quiz and you can complete your exam all the best thank you thank you one and all thank you